What is up guys, it is Steady Chaos Productions. Welcome to the channel. Today I have an unboxing and quick demo of the Orbi Wi-Fi Mesh System from Netgear. Now if you look quickly at the specs, it is the Orbi A6000 Wi-Fi Mesh System. It comes with a router and two satellites. And that is good for, according to Netgear, that is good for eight plus rooms, over 100 devices to be connected wirelessly or via wire, and it covers up to 7,500 square feet. Now that's basically a mansion of a size of a house. Now I don't have that large of a house. I have a 3,000 square foot house. It's pretty decent in size. And I just wanted to make sure that I had a Wi-Fi mesh system that eliminated any possible dead zone. Now right now I just have a basic Netgear router and it does not provide nearly enough 5 gigahertz coverage throughout the house. You know, I have the Netgear router up in my game room and then down here in my den I have my LG C10 and I only get about 20 megabits per second of speed. It's not really even enough to get 4K streaming on Netflix. So I needed something that had a lot more coverage and a lot more reliability and a lot more speed and I think that I'm going to get this from this Orbi mesh system again, which is, it consists of a router and two satellites. So let's unbox this, shall we? It's packaged very well. Now I got this from Amazon. It cost me around 930 bucks, so it's not cheap. But this is one of the fastest mesh systems you can get on the market today. Now of course, it is Wi-Fi 6 compatible and it can handle speeds up to 2.5 gigabits per second. Now really you can set this up with what is called the Orbi app from Netgear. You can just install it on your phone. It allows you to manage your Wi-Fi system, you know, tinker with all the various settings and we will get there some point in this video I hope. All right so the first box here these are all the power cords for the various mesh devices so again a router and two satellites so I have three power cords here that makes sense and it also comes with an Ethernet cable which is nice and flat it's a nice touch. All right so let's look at the mesh systems themselves. Look at this satellite. Look at this thing. It's bigger than my head. <laughs> it's huge. These are very large devices. They're not particularly heavy, but they are very tall. You know, aesthetically speaking, they are good looking. You know, they look futuristic, advanced, if you will. And on the back of each satellite, you will see that you can also hardwire your devices should they be close enough to this satellite system. So. There are four ethernet ports on the back and they're each rated for one gigabit of speed. Pull this one out, this is the second satellite. Yep. Now you can tell by looking at the back side which one the router is and which one the satellite is. The back side here, again, you see four ethernet LAN ports, again, each rated at a gigabit. Now this is the router part itself. This is the part that connects directly to your modem and then disseminates the signal to the satellites. Now the back side is very similar. You have the four uh, ports here on the back, but then there's an additional yellow port you can see there. And that yellow port is the port that connects to your modem. And again, that is 2.5 gigabit per second max speed. The other four ports are the one gigabit speed. So yeah, this is the device. These are the power cables, a pretty basic unboxing. Now let's hook this device up through the home and then we will take some speed measurements and we will compare them against my conventional Netgear router and see if we've achieved any increase in speed. All right, let's do this. For reference, here is my current router that I've been using for the last few weeks, the Netgear AC1750R6400. This model is probably a good three or four years old and is capable of 2.4 and 5 gigahertz frequencies. All in all, it's pretty dated and lacks the range that I need in my new home. 
Now using my R6400 Netgear router, I tested my speed using my most distant Wi-Fi device in my house, which is my LG C10 television. Now I used Netflix to conduct this speed test through the TV just to give me a general idea. And the results were not great. It came in at a rather paltry 36.8 megabits per second. After testing my most distant Wi-Fi device, the LG C10 downstairs in my den, I moved back upstairs closer to the router and tested my personal computer, which is about 20 feet away from the R6400 router. And I got a download speed of around 60 to 65 megabits per second and an upload speed around 52 to 53 megabits per second. Having completed my speed tests using the Netgear R6400 router, both downstairs in the den and upstairs in the game room, I figured it was finally time to install my brand new AX6000 Orbi Mesh router and its two satellites. As you can see here, they are plugged in and they do look relatively nice, if not a bit on the large side. After carefully placing my Orbi router and two Orbi satellites for maximum Wi-Fi coverage and performance throughout my home, I went to my PC's network settings and looked for a new network to connect to. And sure enough, the Orbi 72 network showed up immediately in my PC's network settings and was available to connect to just like that. But before you can really finalize the setup of your router and Orbi satellites, you need to download the Orbi app on your cell phone, and that is the process I undertook next. Once you have gone to orbiapp.com and installed the application on your cell phone, it has you start out by registering your Netgear product with Netgear. And then the rest of the app itself is pretty self-explanatory, pretty straightforward. It is about a 20 to 30 minute process. So I don't want to get too bogged down in the details, but suffice to say, it is pretty clear, it is pretty efficient, and it does help you with basic things like router placement, satellite placement, do's and do nots, if you will, in regards to placement. And then during this initialization phase, it also detects however many satellites you have and wherever you have placed them throughout your home. And it also automatically updates your Orbeez firmware while you do this setup process. Once this installation process is complete, the app looks something like this on your cell phone. You have all sorts of control over things like internet speed, Wi-Fi analytics, and your guest network. With the setup process now complete, I securely connected to my brand new Orbi 72 mesh network on my PC, which is about 20 or so feet from the main Orbi router. Now for reference, I pay my ISP for one gigabit down and 55 megabits up. And in this particular speed test, I'm getting about 617 megabits of download speed and about 54 megabits of upload speed. So I'm hitting my upload target, but my download target could be better and I'm a bit disappointed given that my PC is only 20 or so feet from this router that I'm getting 617 and not the one gigabit of speed that I pay for. Perhaps if I reposition my PC or the router and some of the satellites, I might get a faster speed. And I also decided to run a speed test on my LG C10, which if you recall, is in the most distant room in my house. And with my standard 6400 Netgear router, I got 36 megabits down. And with this new mesh network, I get 277.55 megabits down, which is a substantial improvement and more than enough to stream 4K HDR content. However, I wonder if the Netflix platform itself limits my speeds in some way, shape or form, as I should be getting much faster than 277 megabits down. I also tried running a speed test by hardwiring my PC directly to an Orbi satellite, and I got a respectable 667 megabits down and about 53 megabits upload speed. Pretty solid, but to be honest, with a hardwire connection, I was hoping for something in the ballpark of 800 to 900 megabits down. So I tried running a speed test using my local internet service provider's website, which uses a much more local server. And lo and behold, I got a download speed of 884.9 megabits, which is much better, much closer to that one gigabit speed that I pay for from my internet service provider. 
So in the end, how do I feel about the Netgear AX6000 Orbi Mesh Wi-Fi system? Well, without question, it eliminates any potential dead spot in my house. I have well over 15 devices connected to this network and I have consistently high speeds with every single one of those devices. Nothing lags, everything stays reliably and solidly connected, which is nice. And without question, this Orbi Mesh system absolutely destroys my R6400 Netgear router, which was a really good high-end router about four years ago. But as we know, times change and technology changes even faster. So, you know, you saw speeds on Netflix at 36 megabits down with the R6400 router. And then once we hooked up the mesh system, we were getting close to 300 megabits down. And you saw Wi-Fi speeds with my PC using the R6400 router at about 60 to 65 megabits down. Once we hooked up the mesh system, we were getting consistently between 600 and 650 megabits down. So a marked and increase performance without question. And then when you think about the technical specifications and capabilities of this system, they're pretty advanced. And I would say they're borderline future-proof, at least for the next several years. You know, you have Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz compatibility, 5 gigahertz compatibility, 6 gigahertz compatibility on a tri-band system. You also have the main router capable of receiving 2.5 gigabits per second max speed from a modem. And you also have the router capable of communicating with the satellites at six gigabits per second for an exceptionally fast backhaul connection. So it really has most everything you could ask for in terms of bells and whistles and coverage. The one thing I will say that could have perhaps be a knock on it is you saw my Wi-Fi speed tests over six gigahertz and five gigahertz frequencies. They typically topped out between six and 700 megabits per second. Now my plan that I pay for from my ISP is a max speed of one gigabit per second. So we're only getting about two thirds of that speed over this mesh system. I would have liked to be closer to 800 to maybe 850 megabits per second. Uh, but that just in all my testing, that just was not the case over the Wi-Fi system. Now, if you are able to hardwire into these satellites or the router, then you will get much closer to that one gigabit per second sweet spot that you're looking for. But I think given its speeds over Wi-Fi 6, you know, this is a 950 or so dollar system brand new for two satellites and one router. That is extremely expensive to pay almost a thousand dollars for a Wi-Fi connection of about six to 700 megabits down. And I think that if you do a little bit of research out there, you can find comparable mesh systems from other companies that provide you comparable speeds to this AS6000 Orbi mesh system. And you might be better off paying three, $400 for something that while maybe it doesn't quite have the same technical specifications or maybe even the same reputation, uh, it can achieve you speeds that are pretty close to what this Orbi system can provide. So anyway, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video if you found it informative. And until next time, guys, peace.